Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community with your host, Inez and Chiquita, keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Y'all, you should see my face right now. I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> Girl. How Girl. are you? I'm good. How are you doing? You like my intro? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm uh-uh. trying out some different things. Season five. I don't know. Taking what it up a notch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, maybe I could, you know, try out for the new, um, what is it, Jay-Z NFL thing for halftime show performance. Uh-huh. I hear suppo- allegedly... J-Lo is in the running. Yeah, I Rihanna that too. is in the running for the halftime show. But Rihanna, they've already asked Rihanna. I think she's she, turned she it said, down. Yeah. I you don't know. know. I well, don't that know. Was before Jay-Z was in it. But yes, but that would be that would be very interesting to see mm-hmm. if she's still sticking to her guns mm-hmm. about, you know, Kaepernick. That exactly. would be very interesting. Yes. And my bet is she's going to stick to her guns and yeah. not do it. You think so? Absolutely. Okay. okay. I, my bet is on that because she is yeah. very um, she is very passionate about mm-hmm. the stuff that she believes in. Mm-hmm. And that's why I have mad respect for mm-hmm. her. You know, I, I would love for her to come out with an album, but, mm-hmm. you know, that's a, that's a whole other subject. Well, you know, she had just did that um, Savage Fenty um, Girl, Amazon she's... Prime so killing it. She She's just, killing it with like yeah. so even when she did the New York Fashion Week. New York you, Fashion Week. Yeah. You know, she killed it. And she, she just basically came out there and said, I'm a black woman who yeah. was born from a black woman. I'm mm-hmm. going to raise a black woman. So y'all better get used to this yeah. shit and eat, take it or leave it. Exactly. She just opened up uh, Fenty Beauty over in Korea, South Korea. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's doing it like big, big time. That's what I'm saying. You know what? It's kind of, it's it, isn't it? Here's the thing that I, I find interesting. Mm-hmm. That Brianna's doing some big ass shit. Mm-hmm. She's making tons and tons of money, mm-hmm. but they don't focus mm-hmm. on her like they do Kylie Jenner. Interesting. Okay. Yes, Kylie's a little bit younger than mm-hmm. Rihanna, but let's 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 look at mm-hmm. some really cre- let's look at some things that I find very innovative. Mm-hmm. First of all, um, Rihanna hit a market. Mm-hmm. With the women of color, mm-hmm. that's never been done before. That's true. And I don't think she gets the respect and the love that she should mm-hmm. as a businesswoman and an entrepreneur. Let's keep that 100. I can, I agree with that. Okay? Because if you look at it, they're like, oh, her makeup, her this. Well, um, at the end of the day, we're now at the end of the day, mm-hmm. Rihanna is a self-made. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. This little... She's self-made. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, there was this a little girl who came from Barbados, mm-hmm. didn't cu- didn't come from shit, mm-hmm. and legit had to work her way mm-hmm. from music and everything to build and create what she did. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I don't think she gets the respect that she should and does deserve. Mm-hmm. Well, we all know why. But at the end of the day, you yeah. know, the, she's cutting it in every mm-hmm. aspect. Mm-hmm. She beauty. Killed it. Yeah. Like, she blew it up. Yeah. Like, to the point where every single beauty line is like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, they're we trying got, to catch up. Yeah, oh, we got skin tones for you girls, too. Mm-hmm. Bye. You didn't want too late. You didn't want to give us the colors. Mm-hmm. You didn't want to give us the colors. Now she came out. Mm-hmm. Now you w- talk about we got colors. Mm-hmm. When you realize there's money, mm-hmm. right? Two, she, uh, she has her clothing line. Mm-hmm. That lingerie, she's all-inclusive. Mm-hmm. Every size. Every size, every Mm all-inclusive. And it even shows on her runway shows. Mm -hmm. She's all-inclusive. She's like, all money is good money. I'll take it from anyone and Mm -hmm. everyone. You, you What size are you, boo? Mm -hmm. I got you, and I'm taking your money. (laughs) Mad respect for that, you know? And then same thing now. Now she did her Fenty. Now she did Fenty Couture. Let's keep that. yes. Yes. And we, we talked about that. Yeah, on here, you know, on yeah, show. yeah, you know, she did Fenty Couture. Really yeah, you know, and but Mofa is like she's talking about. She's competing now. She's mm-hmm. competing with, uh, you know, Dior, mm-hmm. Louis, you know, uh, all these big ass fashion Name. house, yeah. fashion mm-hmm. houses, and nobody's giving her the, the type, credit. Yeah. the credit and respect that she deserves. So I'm just putting it out there, like as the things that make you go, hmm, mm-hmm. because she's had undergarments. Mm-hmm. She, you know, whatever. Yes, I give it to Kylie that she was a a smart manipulator 
and getting people to buy her product because you're false advertising what your product could really do. Mm -hmm. Because you're saying your lipstick gave you your lips when you know damn well that's not what it did. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's all I'm going to say with that. So very good at minute. And used her name. Mm -hmm. And used her her name, her parents' name, Mm -hmm. the notoriety to create what she's got. Yeah. There, there's no harm or foul in that. Yeah. That's so wrong with that. for our, everybody say she's self-made. That's bullshit. Sit it down. Yeah. It, you're not self-made. Yeah. You're not self-made because you didn't come from nothing. Yeah. You don't know what it's like not to have anything. Mm-hmm. You've always I had something. I think that's something. what people need to, whoever created that self-made, well, I they mean, need to figure the, out what that the, word no, means. You, no. The Webster's Dictionary put it out there. Oh, they did? Oh, oh. yeah, girl. They put it out. Self-made means when you come from nothing and you create something from nothing. It mm-hmm. does not mean you have the money and the means. And that's mm-hmm. why we say white. This is what we're talking about. Privilege. Mm-hmm. They talk about white privilege and black. Mm-hmm. White privilege gets you the shit in notoriety when you already had 10 steps ahead and you got a hand. Okay. And Rihanna, that's yeah. all I'm saying. So shout out to Rihanna on all yeah. of that because I don't believe she gets the respect that she mm-hmm. deserves. She And she, loud and clear, I'm a black woman who's mm-hmm. doing this and I'm doing it and blah, blah, blah. And I, all her pennies and peanuts. Mm-hmm. So mad shout out. I'm just saying things that make you go, uh, you know, think about. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> it is interesting. You know? Okay. But the whole, like, yeah, like you are saying, football season starting and um, – that was my tangent. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm not watching football. You know, you're not going to watch football this year? Mm-hmm. It kind of turned you off? Yeah. You know, after the whole Kaepernick yeah. thing and how, you know, we're, again, we're a bunch of, you know, when the, eh, here's the thing, the, the NFL is pretty much all black players. Yeah. You know, and yeah. they're, you know, using us to fill, fulfill their pockets mm-hmm. and do all this. And believe you me. I was a hardcore football like fan and yeah. I loved it and I go to games. I would mm-hmm. pay, pay. It just turned me off, and it's like kind of one of those things. You know, it's always like that say. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, go out there. Go make my money. Mm-hmm. Well, it's interesting because it, it makes you think, um, like, what's going to happen with, like, for example, the Antonio, Antonio Brown and how he's being accused of sexual misconduct, uh-huh. you know, um, right now. And supposedly there's a second woman that came out um, and how he was dropped by Nike. Mm-hmm. Um from all of this and stuff, and it just makes you think, like, at what it kind of goes back to, you know, conversation we had on another episode a while ago was the cancel culture and Nate Parker and all these, you know. Um, Listen, you with the N- with the NFL, you can beat your girl, you yeah, can rape, like you people. can you can molest, you can do all kinds of shit. Mm-hmm. They'll they'll forgive you. They'll forgive you. Could do whatever you want. You, they'll forgive you. But you sit down and you protest about the mis, ju- the injustice that mm-hmm. happens to your own kind. Mm-hmm. Your own kind ain't supporting you. Lose you. Your job. you lose your job and you ain't about. So yeah. at the end of the day, that's why the LFL is all about the money and the mm-hmm. bullshit. So I, I'm good on. I'm good on football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. it's well, see, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens with Antonio Brown. Are yeah. they going to make him? Are they going to make him the example? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying to say, oh, the NFL has changed, and we're all about certain things. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll see. <laughs> I'm just saying, you are a mess. <laughs> well, one thing I've been noticing um, a lot of and trending and stuff like that is um, kids in schools and bullying. We're back to that again. We're back to that. Because it really just blows my mind, you know, what's going on in people's houses and how they're raising their kids. Um, because I, I literally saw a video of, like, five or six kids. Um, it was, like, three jumping, one boy, smaller boy, and then, like, two or three on the sidelines gassing them up. And one was recording, and they were in the locker room. Mm-hmm. And some of the parents in school district are trying to get the video down off of, I believe it's Facebook. Yeah, but of course, because if you're the parent, yeah. you should be damn, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Yeah. That your kid is out there doing this crazy ass bullshit. That's and the kid one. does not want to fight, you know, and stuff like that. And it's just like, it's crazy to me how we've become, you know, it, towards no, each no, other. No, There's no, no humanity. 
No, yes, you're right, and it it all starts from the home. Mm -hmm. So you know it all you know it all starts at home. Like if your dad is disrespectful to your mom, or your Mm -hmm. mom is disrespectful to your dad, or you know you're you know a lot of times kids bully because Mm -hmm. their parents bully them Mm -hmm. and intimidate, and they got to take it out when they take it out on other kids and do things that like things like Mm -hmm. that. And you know, um, me having a a a daughter, Mm -hmm. um, I was not, I did not give, I gave zero fucks, and I didn't play. Yeah. You know, I was like, oh, that little girl bullying you, you better fight back. Mm-hmm. And then I said, and if they say something, I'm coming and then I'm coming after their parent. And I'm fucking a parent up. Simple as that, because I'm not having it. Never did. Yeah. Never will. Because if you're telling me that your child, then I'm going to bully your ass until your child leaves my child alone. Mm-hmm. You know, that was like, you know, and I had no problems. But again, mm-hmm. my have, person, yeah. my personality and the way I did things, mm-hmm. I wasn't having it Yeah, because, you know. So the fact of the matter, as parents, mm-hmm. as parents, we're not we're not doing our job. We're not showing our children how to be compassionate, how to be kind, no how empathy, to, no like, empathy. Yeah. No, you know, a lot of it has to do to the fact that I get it. A lot of us come from I'm a, I'm a single parent. Yeah, you know, I, I yeah. get it that we just TV. Well, uh, I phones. think this was a uh, not a. Um, this is an exclusive like private school, but but here's my so, here yeah. but here's the thing: TVs, phones. We got parents that are working, yeah. you know, do, both parents working, whatever, mm-hmm. and we just shove shit in our kids' faces to shut them up and keep them because we're busy and we're not mm-hmm. paying attention. So because of that, we don't show our children don't know empathy or sympathy or see somebody who's alone and hurting and being mm-hmm. like, "Are you okay?" Mm-hmm. You know, as we were growing up, we had a play. Mm-hmm. We had a, you know, yeah, sure, there were yeah. kids that were bullying. Yeah. And we got bullied. But the likelihood of you getting bullied, you had a bunch of other kids rattling around you and saying, mm-hmm. don't do that. We're not having that. Exactly. But, oh, you're going to fight. Then we fight one-on-one. Exactly. You, now yeah, it's now, like. It's like now everybody's like laughing, taking video. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. It's crazy. And I was like, wow, that's bananas. Mm-hmm. And that's so, we don't show empathy. Mm-hmm. We don't show kindness. And then people wonder why kids are going batshit, mm-hmm. getting guns and shooting up and talk about, or oh, committing that, suicide. Uh, and okay. talk about, oh, yeah. that was, what are you yeah. talking about? Mm-hmm. That's not normal. Yeah, That's not even, I, I think when I was in school, I think only one kid committed suicide. Mm-hmm. And that was shocking. Mm-hmm. That was the word. We're like, what happened? Mm -hmm. How did we all thought? How did we fail this kid that he Mm -hmm. committed suicide? Yeah. You know, now it's kind of like the norm. They're telling kids, go ahead, kill yourself. You know, you ain't worth like the Mm -hmm. no, the value, the 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 value that we put on life Mm -hmm. is so like nothing. Yeah. It's so sad. It, it's so sad. It's nothing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they want to say it's t- it ain't got nothing to do with mm-hmm. none of that. It's and what- peer pressure and trying to be the in crowd. And I I had a, a conversation with another friend and he was saying about his daughter and how she wants to be, a, a, you know, in the groups and all this. And she's doing all this changing. She wants a haircut and all this. And I was telling him, like, honestly, within a year, she probably go. Even, they're gonna, she's going to forget about them. She's not even going to remember these folks. I told like, my daughter that focus on education right now. But the the problem is, how can you focus on education when the education system sucks? It's broken and yeah. it's broken, and you're not allowing these kids to learn and be excited about learning and mm-hmm. wanting to learn. Our education system is broken, mm-hmm. and and unless you have a a child that you teach them how to love to learn, mm-hmm. they're not going to do well. That's true. My daughter from I put her in preschool. I spent a lot of money putting her in preschool and putting her in mm-hmm. a school where they taught her how to learn how to love to learn. Mm-hmm. So she learned at a very young age to now that she's in college and she's she studies on her own and she yeah. still likes school and she's always liked school. So I didn't, I know I didn't. I was just mm-hmm. like, you better study and get your shit done. But at the end of the day, it's a fundamental, it's yeah. a foundation mm-hmm. that we teach. And she went to a, a high school that wasn't mm-hmm. the greatest Mm-hmm. That if she didn't do the work, she wouldn't have graduated. Yeah, and I would be like, "What the? I, you know, I was ready to fight every counselor and every teacher and principals." Yeah. I think that's the problem: having the right people in the schools. Yeah, I mean, you know, and having, understand and, and understand. Sides. Yeah, not even that, and being a parent yeah. that's in their face. Mm-hmm. I was that parent. Mm-hmm. That I. What's the problem? I don't mm-hmm. care that I'm a single. I was. I was in people's faces so much that mm-hmm. they hated me because mm-hmm. I was like, "We're not doing this." I pay your salary. I, you mm-hmm. work for me. What? You ain't doing I'm going to the school district. Yeah. Now they're like, oh, wait, wait. Yeah. 
No, no, no. I don't even want to talk to you no, no more because— on the school board, superintendent, all, all that. that I'm going to who I need to, and I will make big bell ring, and they were mm-hmm. like, this crazy bitch. Mm-hmm. So, again, I think it's the fact that parents are checked out. Yeah. Stu- uh, kids are checked out. Yeah. And I do believe that the more privileged you are, I do believe that there's some kind of lack of empathy. Yeah, I agree. There's a lack of empathy in the sense because you can't you don't you can't relate to somebody Mm -hmm. who's not in your position. Mm -hmm. And if your parents don't teach you how to relate to somebody who's not in your position, you're never going to have empathy for others. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We okay? well, you got You got a roof. So now we're going to Skid Row and I'm going to show you all the kids that don't. Mm -hmm. Listen. I remember back in the day. Yes. We're going to oh, oh, what do. you do. Oh, you don't want that? Mm-hmm. Pack that shit and I'm going to show yeah. you. Now we're going to take it to somebody who mm-hmm. don't. This is what the, then all of a sudden you have an understanding. Mm-hmm. When Ayana used to, my, Ayana, my daughter, she used to bitch and complain mm-hmm. about all these things. I'd be like, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to take all these toys because you're ungrateful. Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to give it to somebody who doesn't have what you got. And then the first time I ever did that. She was upset, Mm -hmm. but then when we went to where we went to give those toys Mm -hmm. to children who didn't have and were able to, she understood and was like, Mm -hmm. whoa. Then afterwards, she'd be like, mommy, I don't need all these toys. Let's take them to those kids Mm -hmm. that don't have what I have. That's what needs to happen. That's what I'm saying. That's what we need a little bit more. And don't get me wrong. I think there's a lot more kids that do that Mm -hmm. than that don't. Yeah. But the problem is that we don't celebrate the children that do that. Mm -hmm. We don't celebrate the kids that— um you know, are starting businesses that are supporting their community mm-hmm. and doing those kinds of things. On the contrary, what we celebrate and what we post and what we talk about mm-hmm. is the kids that are bullying and doing other things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's sad. You know, it's sad all around um, and crazy, honestly, that this is where we are, you know. And it well, goes, again, it, it starts from the very top. Yeah. I would just say after all our conversation, it always comes down to, you know, Voting and knowing who yeah, you have you know, in your district, trick, who you have if you, in your local, local yeah, if you have you know, your president, and presidents, and vice president, all these people that mm-hmm. give zero and just talk crazy. Mm-hmm. You as a person, it's like, well, what are you talking? Why are you mad at me? Our yeah. president is doing that exactly. You know, or you look at you, the you, examples. You, that yeah, yeah looking exactly. Up to. As a parent, what example are you setting mm-hmm. for your kids? You know, what are you setting? Because you're the first person they look at to be the example. Mm -hmm. You people think that it's the streets. No, they look at you first. And if Mm -hmm. you're not doing what you need to do, then they go elsewhere to find an example. But you have to when you when people look into them and they say, well, why do I do? And even so, I I even sympathize with the parent of someone who does the mass shooting. Mm. Do you know? Yeah. I even sympathize with them because me as a parent, Mm -hmm. if my child did something as horrific as that, Mm -hmm. I don't think I could live with myself in the devastation Mm -hmm. to know that I Mm raised someone like that. Yeah. That was my doing. Mm -hmm. I did something wrong that my child decided that it was okay to go in Mm -hmm. and start killing. Yeah. And, so I, you know, what did I, you know, people are like, what did they do? What did they do wrong? There's mm-hmm. there, somewhere. Mm-hmm. Not unless you're talking about mental. And even then, you know, you got some there's. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There are some circumstances and there are certain things that we can't. We're are out of our control. Mm-hmm. But as far as are we were we not paying attention to what, what our children were saying and doing? Mm-hmm. You know, well, were some they, of these parents are working two or three jobs. Girl. Yes, you know I did. So I, I, I can empathize. So it's like I know I can empathize. Yeah. I worked up two, three jobs, yeah. but I made sure I understood and knew what was yeah. going on because it was that important. Checking in, yeah, it was that important, and my my kid knew that I could check in at any time. Yeah, and if things were, it was consequences. And you know me, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. No, it's you know we just got to hope for the best um, and things to get better. And but like you know. And then you know, day. after, you know, I, I in the dark, the light always comes out. Yeah. The, after darkness, light always comes out. What happens to the saying, it takes a village to raise yeah, a child? Like, we need Man, our I remember when I, yes, I, girl, I remember I would be a kid mm-hmm. and I would be in Puerto Rico and I was hanging out and doing my thing. Man, that all these nosy ass old ladies were all up in my business that I couldn't do anything yeah. wrong. By the time I got home, mm-hmm. my grandma knew what was going on. See? 
And I was like, what the mother? Yep. And she, I was like, oh, my God, these yeah. nosy-ass old exactly. ladies. Everybody in the neighborhood. You had Every, that old lady sitting on the porch watching girl, you. And be like, hey, hey. I'd yeah. be like, hey. Exactly. Like, I, I see you. Mm-hmm. Like, I know what yeah. you're doing. Knowing what time you got to be in the house. Uh, did, what, 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 yeah. Uh, Girl, I talked to I'm your mother the other day. It literally took me five minutes to get to yeah. my my aunt's house to my grandma's yeah. house, and I, I was my grandmother was sitting on the porch waiting for me. See? I was like, what already the? calling, already called and told. I just saw her walk I, down the street he, and a bell. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, I was like, but all I was doing was she's like, uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. I was like, but that's what's missing yeah. and that's what's lacking. Yeah. On the contrary, you know, kids can't even go to their own their own house or even yeah. people of color. They're calling the police. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're just in a. In a different time. Yes, big time. Big time. And it is. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Right. It's just too much. But, no, we're going to end it off because it was a heavy was, topic, you know. It was, we're um, always heavy. Yeah, One of these, it, and we're, no, we're going to be light. Do. We need to do like, a, you know what? I think because we, things are so heavy these yeah. days. You know what we think? I think we need mm-hmm. to do like play like a love connection. Maybe okay. get some people, like get, some singles, uh, yeah. come in, do a little like yeah. dating, do some fun. Yeah, we need something. Fun we need then. something, you know, because uh, going into uh, season it's, five. It's, wait a minute, or, it's yeah. yeah, going into and it's cuffing season soon. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, it's cuffing yes. season soon. The minute it gets cold, mofo, yes. want to get up. You remember I tweeted <laughs> out hot tea winter. <laughs> <laughs> Hot tea uh, winter. That's the new thing. That's the new thing. So yes, we're going to do that. that. We got to do Yeah, we yeah. got to liven it up for our next couple of episodes because yeah. it's been very heavy with a lot yeah, of Yeah, but you know that, but that's, the, but that's but, what's going on in the world. Yeah. And we can't stick our head in the sand and act like we don't know what's mm-hmm. going on. Can't be blind to it. No, you can't. And yeah. I mean, as much as it hurts and it yeah. bothers, we got to talk about it. The only mm-hmm. way we can change things is as talking about it. Yeah, and communicating and Getting, talking about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Keeping people in the know. Yep. Well, Lady, it's it was, been wonderful. It's been wonderful. I think I think I'm getting hoarse. I need to quit yes. talking so much. Stop yelling at people, girl. <laughs> no, one like my family say, you you guys don't know how to shut up. Yeah, well, I need to learn how That's to shut true. up. <laughs> and on that note, thank you guys for thank listening. Thank you guys for listening. Like always, we love you. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Take a little time to enjoy your brand of Moscato and tea with us every day. Subscribe, rate, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and MoscatoandTea.com.